BD, Wikipedia article audio. A BD or Beery is a thin cigarette or mini cigar filled with tobacco flake and commonly wrapped in a Dios Pyros Melanoxylon or Pyliostigma racemosum leaf tied with a string or adhesive at one end. It originates from the Indian subcontinent. The name is derived from the Marwari word beta, a mixture of beetle nuts, herbs, and spices wrapped in a leaf. A traditional method of tobacco use throughout South Asia and parts of the Middle East, today beetis are popular and inexpensive in India, where beetie consumption outpaces that of conventional cigarettes, accounting for 48% of Indian tobacco consumption in 2008. History Use Beaties deliver more nicotine, carbon monoxide, and tar and carry a greater risk of oral cancers. As with many other types of smoking, beaties increase the risk of certain kinds of cancers, heart disease, and lung disease. They may also be more harmful than other forms of tobacco consumption. Indian tobacco cultivation began in the late 17th century and beaties were first created when tobacco workers took leftover tobacco and rolled it in leaves. The commercial Indian beedi industry saw rapid growth during the 1930s probably driven by an expansion of tobacco cultivation at the time but also helped by Gandhi's support of Indian industry and Indian products. Perhaps due to this, Educated classes in India grew to prefer beaties to cigarettes although this is no longer the case. Muslim leaders, calling cigarettes foreign products, have also endorsed beaties at times. By the middle of the 20th century beady manufacture had grown into a highly competitive industry. This stage of commercial production at the height of the Beatty's popularity saw the creation of many new Beatty brands as well as Beatty factories employing upwards of 100, primarily male, Beatty rollers. Factory-based Beatty production declined as a result of increased regulation during the 1940s, 50s, and 60s and beady making became a cottage industry with a home-based women workforce predominantly employed only in the beady rolling. In contrast, males continue to be employed in other aspects of beady production. Poor man's cigarette Unlike cigarettes, beadies must be puffed frequently to keep them lit, and doing so requires effort. Beady smoking tends to be associated with a lower social standing, and these tobacco-filled leaves are inexpensive when compared to regular cigarettes. Those with a high social standing who do smoke beadies often do so out of the public eye, however the cultural trend is changing. In the United States In the United States, beadies are treated like conventional cigarettes. They are taxed at the same rates, are required to have a tax stamp, and must carry the Surgeon General's warning. However, a study done in San Francisco showed that about 4 in 10 packs of beaties did not contain the required warning label and 7 in 10 did not carry the tax stamp. 2006 statistics on BD usage shows that 2.9% of high school students in the United States take part in BD smoking compared to 1.4% of those aged 18 to 24. Some BDs are flavored. Both Canada and the US have banned flavored cigarettes. Over 8 million Indians are employed in the manufacture of BDs a cottage industry that is typically done by women in their homes. Flavored beaties Workers roll an average of 501,000 beaties per day, handling 225-450 grams of tobacco flake. Studies have shown that nicotine levels in the bodily fluids of beady workers are elevated even among those who do not use tobacco. Manufacture the production of beaties is also popular in Bangladesh. 
according to the 2014 list of goods produced by child labor or forced labor published by the Bureau of International Labor Affairs, the informal sector in these countries employs underage children in the production of beaties in response to consumer preferences. Tendal Leaves Tendal leaves make excellent wrappers, and the success of the beady is due, in part, to this leaf. The leaves are in abundance shortly after the tobacco crop is cured and so are ready to be used in beady manufacture. Collected in the summer and made into bundles, the leaves are dried in the sun for three to six days before being used as wrappers.